Hello everyone and welcome back to Thoughts on the Cosmos. In today's episode, we venture out into the outer solar system in search of elusive objects that are undoubtedly some of the most interesting things to see in the cosmos. I'm talking about comets. Like the stars and the planets, comets have throughout human history been a source of imagination, fear, and wonder. People used to think they were messengers from the gods. Comets with their elongated tails looked like swords made of fire in the night sky. To an illiterate people in a world where the value of astrology far outweighed the value of astronomy, this superstitious idea was not so hard to believe in for people back then. Comets were often seen as a sign of war and death. Whenever a comet appeared, people thought a king would die. In Game of Thrones, a red comet was seen on the birth night of Aegon Targaryen. Comets have been reported to have visited the skies of Earth since the time of the ancient Greeks. Of course, they've been showing up around Earth for much longer than that, but it's like what Adam Savage said. Remember kids, the only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. One of the most famously documented comets of human history is Halley's Comet. Halley being the name of a singer of a certain American rock band called Paramore. Oops, wrong Halley. I mean Halley being the name of a 17th century English astronomer Edmund Halley who first calculated the orbit of the comet and predicted its next return to Earth in 1758. Sadly, he passed away in 1742, missing the chance to see his prediction come true. One of the reasons that Halley's Comet is famous is because it's periodic. You see, unlike the father of an African-American child, Halley's Comet comes back to visit regularly. It returns to Earth's vicinity about every 75 years, making it possible for a human to see it twice in a single lifetime, assuming that you live for more than 75 years. Medical science technology for the win! The last time Halley's Comet came by was in 1986. Ah, 1986. My dear sweet lady love Taylor Swift had not been born yet and the world was still in the midst of the Cold War between America and the Soviet Union. Halley's Comet is projected to return in 2061, 46 years from now. By then I will be the ripe old age of 69. <laughs> Get it? 69. The fact that Halley's Comet is periodic gives us a hint to letting us know where it comes from unlike herpes in which you really can't know from where or from who it's from, by recording a comet's position in the night sky as it approaches and leaves Earth, we can trace out its orbit. We find that periodic comets come from a region of space known as the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune, believed to be the home of various comets, asteroids, and other small bodies made largely of ice. Leftovers from the formation of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. The stuff that was supposed to go into the making of the Earth and the other planets, but were somehow, for reasons that will be explained in a later video, did not. It's all out there now. The Kuiper Belt can be found where Pluto is. First exit on the left, 4.5 billion kilometers away from here. You can't miss it. Then again, no one's ever made it that far. Kuiper Belt objects exist within the realm of the Sun. It's where periodic comets return to after making its perihelion, or the closest point to the Sun. The orbit of comets follows the same rules as planetary orbits, in a sense that they are elliptical. It's all derived from Kepler's law of planetary motion. This is Kepler, and that's his mustache. They see me rolling, they hate it. But cometary orbits are far more stretched out giving us a sense of how long the journey through space is for these interstellar travelers. The wide-ranging orbits of comets also gives us a better picture of the various places in our solar system, the different places that these objects have traveled through and visited throughout their journeys, alerting us to the wonders that exist out there beyond the Earth and beyond our imagination. This has been Science Epic Thoughts on the Cosmos with Fire in the Sky Part 1. Stay tuned for Part 2, we're still covering comets.